Hello everyone, you're welcome to today's class. In this class, we want to be looking at rounding of numbers, as you can see on the board. And the objectives for this class are just three. We'll be looking at how to round a number to the nearest tens, hundred, thousands, and so on. Uh, we'll look at nearest ten, nearest hundred, and so on. Then we need to look at the last one, which is rounding to the nearest whole number. So, before we move on, anything that can distract you, just remove them and so you can get the best out of this video. Now, if you have any number, or maybe you have a number, let's say you have 12,879. This is a number that's made up of digits. 1, 2, 8, 7, 9. So, each digit has a value, or a place value in the number. So, this has its own value this also has its own value right this also has its own value why this has its own value and this one also has its own word, value so if you look at the value of this one is units the last digit here is under what unit why this one is under tens why this is under 100 and this is under 1000 1000 why the last one here has the value of 10 of what 1000 right now if that is the case since each of the digits here has different values, so it will be easier for us to be able to run to the particular uh, place. So, so if you're running to the nearest, and which means you're stopping at tens, if you're running to the nearest, only you're stopping at what? Hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands, tens of thousands, hundred tens of thousands. I hope that is clear. So that is that. That's the first part. But there are, there are rules that we need to follow before we can run to the nearest ten. The book around rank of any number. So what is that rule? So the rule is so let's look at the rules. There are rules that we need to follow before we can run any numbers in our extent of book around of any number. So let's look at the rule here. The rules are this. So we have uh, from here to here we have one, two, three, uh, four. Then we have five here, six. Seven, eight, nine, and we have zero here. Good. So we have these are the digits that we use to form any number. We have zero toward nine. So you can see five is uh, standing out here. So I'll tell you what that means. Now, if a number falls under this from this place below five, less than four, less than five. Here we round down here. We round what down, meaning that we have nothing to the place value we ask to round to. If we ask to round to tens of thousands, right? So we're going to consider this. If this is less than five, then we round this one down. That is, we add nothing to what one. So that means add nothing. Add nothing. I will see explain that. But if it's five and above, five and above. So if the digits after the place value you can stop at is five and above, then so you do what you round off. You round off. So rounding off means you add one. Add one to the, to the value you want, but add one, add one to the value. So let's now look at this now. That is the first rule, the first step in rounding off numbers. The second step is this. You're going to look at, so let me use example to, to explain this okay. example. Assuming we have this, round, Three thousand seven hundred and 
46 to the nearest to the nearest so we we'll go 1 10 we'll move we go 2 100 as it's 13,000 the next one to the nearest thousand right good so the first thing we're going to do to solve this is this so this is the basic rule that we must follow so the next step would then be uh, if room we go one we have thirteen thousand seven hundred and forty six good this is the unit this is a unit place this is unit this is tens hundreds thousands and the tens of thousands right so we have to write the nearest ten. so we can you're stopping at this you're stopping at this so let's have a line to divide it so this is where we want runs to in that case so this is where we are talking which is four so we now consider we consider the next digit we consider the next digit after the digit you want to stop at, which is four. So the next digit is what six. If the next digit is four, the next digit now falls under round what? Or what six? This is six. It falls here. So which means we're going to round up. That is, we add one to four. If this will be plus one. Then we change this one to what? Zero. So that means our answer will then be one three. Seven, this will then change to what five. Then this one becomes to what zero. So we have rounded it up to the nearest what hundred. So to the nearest ten. So the nearest ten. Okay, that is good. So for the second one, we want to write the nearest hundred. So we write it again. We write it out. So we have thirteen thousand seven hundred and forty six. Now so the same thing, this is the unit, this is the tens, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands. So we should be stopping at this number seven here. So we also got it. Please take note of my words here. We are stopping at hundreds. So we then look at the next digit. The next digit is what? Four. Which falls where? Here or here? It's possible. It is random. So that is, we add nothing. We add nothing to this seven. So we then change this to what? Zero, zero. That means our answer will be what? 13,700. So this is to the nearest was 100. Right? So that is that and that one. So the third one is this. So the same thing, 13,706. Right? This is we branded this to the nearest. Uh, this is units. So this is units. This is tens. This is hundreds. This is thousand. This is tens of what thousand. So the same thing. What random? So we're stopping at hundred. Uh, we want to write the nearest thousand. This is thousand. We also have this, right? So this is where we want to stop at three. Considering the next digit to it, which is 7, 7 plus a, plus a, which is round of, that is, we add 1 to what? Add 1 to 3, that is plus 1, as we did not add anything to this one. So in that case, our answer will then be 14,000. I will say, say 14,000. Now, take note of this. When we talk about 10, 10 has how many zero? One zero. Only how many zero? Two zeros. Thousand has how many zero? Three zero. So you can see when you run to the nearest end, we have one zero at the end. Hundred, two zeros at the end. Thousand, we have three zeros at, at the end. So that is how to run numbers uh, to the nearest ten on the grid and about uh, thousand. Then move to the nearest uh, right. So right at the nearest end, hundred, thousand. You see, we have T H at the end. That is ten. 10, like then you have 10, right? 100, and so on and so forth. So that's what we want to look at on this. So, when we have 10, it means 
we are looking at number or we are looking at digits after the decimal point. Just in the case of this, we have uh, 5.3 seven eight nine so we have this we have this ten hundred thousand tens of thousand are all the digits that we have after the decimal point so how do we do that we need to get the values of all this one as well so this one has its own value right it has its own value this has its own value, this has its own value, this has its own value. Why this one is cost something, why this one is something. So let's start with this one. This is decimal point, right? Decimal point. Decimal point. This five is a whole number and is under units. Please take note. This is units. This one is not unit because it is at the end of decimal points. This one I should have 53.0. So the points that I can write as well is 53. So this is unit 10. So you can see this is decimal point zero. So this is unit here, which is also O, o number. Right? Good. This is decimal points. Immediately after the decimal point, the next digit is what? Tenth. It's, there's nothing like unit. Nothing like unit. So immediately after the decimal point, you have what? Tenth. We have tenth. So the next one will be what? Hundreds. Hundreds. The next one will be what? Thousands. Why the next one will be what? This will be what? Tenth of thousand. Tenth thousand. Or ten thousand. Ten thousand. So, and so on like that. So, so if we are now running the nearest tens, you know. We are asking the decimal place what the digit after the decimal point, which is here, right? So we are going to follow the same rule that we just I just explained here now. So the rule is so as we have this this same question, what to run it? So rand five point three seven eight nine to the nearest. To the nearest one figure one tenth two thousand right so and thousand let's stop here so here so we have this solution no one five point three seven eight nine so run to the nearest of ten so the tenth year is here, which is this one. So we, we rule our line, rule our line to the market. So which means we're stopping at this place. So considering the next digit, the next digit is what? Seven. Which falls where? On the round up. On the round up. So we had one to this. So answer will then be 5.4. So this one returns what? Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. But this is decimal. These zeros are useless. They are not significant at the end. Any zero at the end of a decimal point are insignificant. So in that case, there is no need for you to put zeros there, right? So if you put it, you know, going to penalize, uh, uh, penalize rather. So it's better you remove it. So think of better. So in this case, that's the word narrowest of ten. You can see we have reduced it five point four. So the second one, which is five point three seven eight nine, to so the nearest what? On thousands, thousands. You know, I don't on them. It is hundreds to be here, right? So let's say to be to the nearest hundreds, hundreds. 
hundreds. Then the third one, the nearest one, thousands. Right? The nearest hundred is this is ten, and this is what hundreds. So we stopped at seven, right? Then we consider the next digit after seven, which is what eight, which is still falls under rank what up. So we add one to this plus one, then this one uh, will be ignored. So that is the answer of 5.3 what it which the nearest was hundreds. Quite good. So the last one here is this 5.3789. So the nearest of thousands, hundred tens, hundred thousand. So we we'll stop here. So this falls under rank of we had one to this. So answer was 5.379. So that's the nearest of hundreds. Sorry, thousands. Now, if you look at right. this, the last part of this is round to the nearest whole number. So you write to write the nearest whole number. So it's something you look at this. So from this person, round to round the round this round this to the nearest nearest whole number. Or number. So what we're going to consider here. So we consider the whole number, right? So we have 582.745. So what will the answer be? So the whole number here is this. Here is the whole number that we have. Here. So after the whole number, we have the decimal. So immediately after the whole number, right? So the next digit after is is what we're going to consider to run it up or run it what down. So the next digit is what seven, right? The next digit is seven. So in that case, seven is run up. Uh, then we add one to this one. So that is also five hundred and what eighty three. Simple whole number. So we think we have run it to the whole number. There won't be a uh, decimal in each anymore. So that is how to run. The nearest phone number. So that is the end of this uh, uh, video to cover all the objectives that we have stated. So in the next, we'll be looking at decimal places and the uh, significant figures. So if you have, if you find this uh, video useful, kindly give us a thumbs up and then uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And then if you have any questions uh, that is bothering your mind, whether in this uh, topic on, the, on on this topic or any other topics in mathematics so don't forget just write it in the comment section they will give uh, justice to it by answering this by producing another video on it thank you for your time to meet in the next video